I'd like to thank my patrons supporting the channel and the creation of these videos. Let's continue with the UI boxes. So the first thing we need to do is go to our tutorial assets folder and let's create a new folder. And let's call this one images. Open the folder and let's import our custom image. So I have this uh, fantasy box. What we need to do as, of course is to change the texture type to sprite 2D and UI. I will change as well the sprite mode to polygon and in the sprite editor after applying the changes I will slice this uh, image to allow me increase the size without stretching the graphics or the art itself so after making these changes we can click apply so now we have our box and I will import similar image for the background of the buttons I'll do the same to change the texture type to sprite 2D the sprite mode to polygon apply the changes and in the sprite editor I will also add this, uh, this padding here to create the slice and click apply Now that we have both images to use with the uh, UI boxes, we can create our first UI box. And this is pretty simple. We can just uh, click on the canvas or in the hierarchy with the context uh, menu. And we have either in the UI, Machinom, UI box. And from here we have several variants. So if we were to select the first one, UI box with title, You will see that this is what we get so let's switch to game mode and we have a standard empty box with a title of course if you want to play or remember that the positioning of this uh, UI box after we made the prefab uh, this is the place it will be shown in your game so if you either want to have a different position or, or size of this box you need to do it right now or afterwards uh, editing the prefab you have created so for example we have the UI box selected here and we can see the alignment and the anchors here so if we wanted this to be anchored in the, le in the left side we could just click here and you'll see that the anchor is now placed in this position if we want to everything move to that place we then click the alt button so it will force the box to go to this place and then we can resize it accordingly similarly let me undo not so much uh, if we want it on top we can click on the anchors uh, presets hold the alt key and click the top uh, anchor here preset and just resize the window and then save these prefabs as so as so okay let me undo this one again as you can see that right away uh, TextMax Pro is using our text that we imported previously that was the reason I wanted to add it to the default uh, uh, text to be used or font to be used all right so what else we have here if we go back to once again UI Machinom UI boxes we have several types as I mentioned so the UI box, the default one, is going to create a basic, basic UI box without title. The second one is the one that we saw already, so it will create a basic UI box with a title. The next one, uh, or the UI box scroll, 
is going to create a UI box with the scrolling, both vertical and horizontal, uh, enabled. Similarly, the next one will create the same uh, box with the scrolls, but with a title. Then we have a specific uh, UI boxes with vertical, um, without and with title, so vertical scroll box. And lastly, uh, we only ha we have uh, UI boxes with only horizontal scrolls, scroll bar, without, with and without uh, title. The ones here in the in the middle is uh, there are box fit size, so they, they will be uh, unresizable boxes that you could, for example, use for specific cases like uh, in the tutorials, the official tutorial for the main menu. It is using um, a fit size uh, box. Okay, so what we want to do now is to create uh, one of each so we can make prefabs and we have already uh, one of each uh, to be reused in this project or other projects if we were to imp export uh, these prefabs uh, as unity package so for our um, default you our first ui box let's delete this one actually and let's create a new one but using uh, the scroll bars so let's select UI box with vertical uh, UI box vertical with title text mesh pro there we go so after having our UI box we can see the um, the X structure of course I'm using the hierarchy uh, component that's why I have this extra uh, icons and what I want to do now is to add an OK and cancel button select the UI box and from the context menu uh, find the machinum UI box input button and select OK plus cancel buttons so remember to do that by selecting the UI box. If you select the canvas, it will create a brand new UI box with the OK and uh, the cancel buttons uh, in the hierarchy outside our main UI box. So now that we have both, what we can do is to change the images of the standard uh, sprite that is coming from, from the component itself to our boxes and the button item. So once again, let's select UI box game object and if we start collapsing all the components we'll find the image component which is using the default background image what we can do is just drag our sprite if I manage to do it right and automatically it changed to our own graphics or art image Similarly, we can do the same for the title content. So let's click on title content game object. We can see the image component here and let's assign the box. And for the cancel and OK buttons, let's do the same. So click on the OK button component. We can see the uh, image component here. So let's replace the UI sprite with our own uh, image and same for the cancel there we go now if you want to decrease uh, the thickness of the scroll bar you can do that, do that uh, by selecting the component itself and decrease its height or, and its um, width like so so now that we have our uh, first UI box we can save it create a prefab out of it so let's uh, go to our tutorial assets let's create a brand new folder and let's call this one 
underscore created to follow the tutorials, the official tutorials and inside the created folder let's create another one and let's call this one UI and of course inside UI we need to create a new folder and let's rename this one to UI box box with X and inside the UI box then we can drag our game object so we are getting an error uh, with uh, Unity UI but also when creating the prefab uh, the script the UI box script is completely lost and uh, if I try to search it UI box UI box component let's see if that fixes the issue of course by adding the component like so we miss already all the assignments that we had be before so let's try to do it uh, manually once again so the OK button will be here the cancel button is going to be there uh, the scroll rect is going to be the scroll view uh, what else we have or we had uh, tab let's see if this works let's try to save the prefab and go back so extra, we have an override uh, uh, available that means that we're still missing something so let's take a look um, if we are missing any of the assignments in the tab no, looks fine to me so let's try to do an override apply all and let's go back to the prefab and seems not working so I don't know if this is a bug with the free version of game is love or uh, Mackinork uh, but anyways uh, what I wanted to do is afterwards uh, we have created these prefabs again let's, let me rename it uh, it took me a while to figure out what was going on uh, what we want to do is to open up Mackinork and in the UI section where we have UI boxes we have this default box so either way you wanted to uh, create several boxes UI boxes for for your interface you will need to, to assign uh, which uh, prefab you want to use so let's assign this one here and of course let's rename this default accordingly so we know what we are using here is the UI box blue and let's save the settings so as I mentioned um, as a homework what we can do is to create uh, a single UI box for each of the uh, options that we have so we can reuse it later on and uh, let's continue with the series if you want to see more please consider subscribing and supporting the channel thank you very much